hello there welcome into the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i do hope you're doing well in this time thank you so much for liking the video for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel all of your support is abundantly appreciated these are going to be your love messages for today so these will be general messages so all of them may not apply to all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly now let us get right into the message the energy that surrounds you feels like new love and it feels like a dream coming true maybe because of a place where you moved on from a particular person relationships you know, I really feel like you moved away from a lot of, from a sad time. You know, it's a, it, it, it's a sad, it was a sad time and I feel like you moved away energetically from that. Or you're still there and you want to move away from that. Or for some of you, this is a person that is in that energy of feeling that sad times in your love relationship and is looking to move forward to you again again so for those of you who've moved on and you're looking to really feel the fullness of your love like brand new beautiful energies around you in love even if it's not it's not romantic it's just like love just flourishing around you and it's because you've been having feelings you've been wanting new beginnings you have new desires i feel like you have new seeds to plant new wishes new new experiences that you want to have new beautiful ideas and you're expecting something to change it's as if you felt like something here wasn't willingly right and so you want it you 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 just you just knew that something was about to shift especially when it comes to your happiness your love for the uh, um for those of you who this is a person that's coming through for you moving around to you this person has been waiting wanting to do this it's as if they've built up the courage to move toward you this could be you too cancer and you've built up a, some courage to take some action towards a place the ace of wands yeah so definitely something new maybe a new flame like maybe if this is your past person this is what they want but in love i feel like this is what you're moving around to. you've been expecting a change wanting a change like longing for it like you've been in a, an environment where you know like this can't be it, right this is the energy i feel you had you felt like this can't be it. something must be different something must be off here i'm in the wrong location so it's like you've been you've been waiting for a change like you've been saying, you know, I was born in the wrong family, right? Like I've been, I've been, I, I'm here by mistake, right? I ended up over here in this relationship just by mistake, right? Like, right universe? So it's like you're always waiting for that change because you know, like this isn't it. And so that new feeling, that new beginning, it's going to like whoosh, swish you into that energy, something new. Uh, so this could be with a fire sign. So like I say, new flame could be a new love a new love interest something that makes you feel excited even if it's not romantic i feel like a love that feels like flame is beneath it like good like you feel vibrant beautiful energy like laughter joy that kind of happiness in this love energy that's coming around to you and it's new yeah so if you're moving you're moving into this something new for some of you, I really truly feel like the best you can achieve when it comes to love right now is something new. Either, either going to change your mindset in the situation or you're physically moving towards something new. But truth, like you're letting go off of something, like you're cutting cords and allowing some things to drift away from you in the wind. It could be your past past experiences with love it could be the connection with this past person that if they want to move into you you know what i'm feeling like there are a lot of things in your past that needs to be washed away with like flood waters i'm telling you a lot of things in the past for this new love or new flame to really show itself to you it's as if it, you have to go through a transition first where floodwaters come through. So this could be in your emotional field. 
really like your memories all of that that's trapped inside of your body as well your mind your spirit your aura all of you and just wash a lot of that debris away you know maybe it's a detox energy i don't know maybe it's just a spiritual cleanse whatever it is for you but like a lot of clearing needs to take place or it has already in your energy field even a lot of different people or love interest you know it's like, like this what am i doing with my hands like i can feel, i like this cleanse you know like this clearing out of energy to leave a pristine space and after that is that clearing out is done i feel like that's when this new flame pops up like ding because it's almost like something has to move so the rightful thing can take its place that is how I feel because the new flame that's popping up feels like a rightful thing taking its place but it has to be done after all that drudgery has been cleared away like washed away with the floods I don't know how you're gonna achieve that it's maybe it's you moving out of that energy finding a way to do that shifting a mindset or physically like leaving a lot of things behind and it, you know it comes back around to the ace of swords energy i feel like i feel like you need to be honest with some people in your life people that you're not interested in love things that you you no longer want to take along with you some energies that needs to be just stripped off of you that's how i feel because you are ready to experience a new kind of love experience you know and i feel the experience you want is like happiness not a lot of entanglement or attachments but a lot of joy and laughter and adventure music traveling you know so i feel like you should also declare what is that you want in love going forward because this transitional stage that you're going through is like you're clearing through you're clearing all of that out i can feel it you know a lot of, of your past exes and so on everything even the the memories the feeling everything is like this flood is going to come through even without your will in it and it's taking a lot everything of your exes away from you i don't know how that's gonna work you know so that could be physically like tossing everything that once belonged to others that you were entangled with so it's like really clearing up all energies of entanglement from your past i'm not saying that you have to be perfect but it just feels like it's for you, not for the new flame, but it's done for your energy. So this new flame could also be your own energy. After clearing out the nine of wands, the ace of wands comes up. So clearing out all the junk so what should be rightfully there can take, um, what, what is, whatever. The rightful thing can take its place there. That's how I feel. That, that might be happening to you. So first, I feel like you have to be able to identify or feel or know or to discern of all that's not good for you. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of everything having to do with the five of cups energy, a lot of emotions from your past that needs to G.O. You know, the waters are coming for it. I don't know if it's water or it's the wind. Like I say, it could be just a shift in your mindset, but I'm feeling water energy. I'm also feeling fire, like purging. I'm telling you, a lot of your past. Um, <laughs> the energy is kind of funny. My humor is weird, but it's the energy of you don't even know what's going on. Then this, there's like a, some water that just rushes by you. And its intention is like magic water, honestly, because it, it is only picking up. The things of your past and taking it away from you so when it passes you you're looking back and you're realizing oh it's taking all of the things from me but it's not sorry and then you're going to realize it's like you're saying to yourself so what do i do now and then because maybe these are things that you haven't you just didn't want to let go of so when you say what do i do now and you look around in your life to see so much things have moved have left your life that you've been holding on to that you didn't you didn't want you may be a hoarder then you look to see what should be rightfully there maybe the one thing that remains it could be just yourself your gifts your inheritances what truly belongs to you that's all that will be left in this love energy i feel like it could be this energy could be someone that's really that really stands out to you that <laughs> that may be what it's saying a person that really stands out to you um, just above the rest, the crowd energy, 
you know and this person like it's they're moving toward you in the crowd kind of vibration because your energy sends each other so it can be beautiful i feel too so let's continue with the reading because there's there's also attraction here so attracting you attracting your soulmate vibration or just like just an attraction energetic attraction with another person could be a fire sign the six of hearts so that's a past love but not always it can be new like a soulmate of the lifetimes ago like someone you've met before or someone that is very familiar to your soul and a person that loves themselves as well as much as you love yourself and so the relationship will be so balanced equal give and take you know whatever i feel like this person will know the things you like as well you know they will give it to you so if you like kisses They'll be a person that likes to give kisses, you know, they, like that's the energy with the six of cups. Like, equal, it's balanced. Soulmate vibration, the six of hearts, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, you guys will kind of meld. You guys, both of you, whoever this new flame is, um, this is your today's reading. Um, you'll find things to talk about, to laugh about, because you are soulmates. I feel like even if you are not attracted to this person, attracted, and they could be a friend, honestly, but it's the energy of whenever I feel like this person stands out, their conversations with you is good. Um, you have similar interest with this person, so they could be a really, a really love, but maybe you're not in a relationship. Maybe it has to do with because um, a lot, a lot's been left that's not gotten rid of you know a lot of past energies that's still lingering around so it may be difficult for you to see this person as i'm saying maybe if you clear up a lot of past energies you'll be able to see who this person truly is i feel like the cards are in your hand you decide if you're ready for to for this move then we have the two of cups like listen <laughs> this person could be this could be your soulmate like in, like i'm seeing soulmate energy here the two of cups vibration the six of cups and the two of cups this is like sila energy um so this person could be coming around to your home they may be calling you or coming close to your energy today maybe getting intimate asking you intimate questions so it's a person that you may not be intimate with or you know having a relationship with but they are a standout energy amongst the rest you know maybe this person has been around in your life for a long 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 time but maybe there needs to be some honesty spoke some truth spoken here you maybe need to be honest with yourself as well you know about how you really feel what you really want especially you know in love what you're looking for and i don't know but we see soulmate energy soulmate energy could be a fellow water sign could be fire I'm moving into your home space today. I feel like you are feeling good and you're attracting that kind of love to you today. The nine, feeling good, self-empowerment, um, radiance, confidence. That's the glow you're emitting today. Beautiful energy, independence, being strong, like having the eye of the tiger vibration, knowing how to focus on your goals, your visions. I feel like that makes you very, very attractive you could be single like you could be single you could be single like i'm saying so this person could be your friend mm -hmm. like i was saying maybe this person is thinking of giving like <laughs> they've been watching you all along and they think it's time for them to make their move toward you the seven of pentacles you know when i saw that i saw stars i saw happiness success prosperity I saw someone being successful, honestly, maybe with you, you know, an amazing, a great force of love is coming around to you today because of a new spark, a new feeling, a new dream, a new gift, a new vision you've inherited, a new something about love. And it's clearing out a lot of past debris energy in your emotional field. And you're able to now love yourself as you ought to. You give to yourself what you want. You know, you take care of you. 
um, you expect good things and so good things come to you. You may be meeting or coming into connection with a soulmate, twin flame vibration. This is not necessarily one person. It can be a few because you're attracting your like today. And you're doing so because you're in you're radiating this beautiful love inside out. You know you're worthy of love. You know you're worthy of receiving kisses, flowers, chocolate, gifts, attention, whatever makes you feel like love. Um, kind words, thoughtfulness, good deeds, actions, whatever makes you feel like love in action to you. And you do that to yourself. You know what I mean? You take the time to give these things to yourself. So it, it's easily attracting itself to you around you in your environment. So it's not necessarily another person. Um, I feel like people are going to be delighted. And I feel one person in particular will be standing and looking at you. So this could be the highlight of your day. So let me know if it comes through. Um, standing and looking at you and particularly feeling like delight because I'm feeling stars delight. Mm, delightful. Like they, they, they're like daydreaming looking at you. I don't know if it's because of your beauty or your radiance or just yeah, because with this, the seven of nine of pentacles, I just feel like a lot of glow coming out of you. You know, like I say, this is the Goku energy where you're empowered. So you're going from inside out, your radiance. <laughs> and you could be feared, but not feared, but intimidating. Not intimidating. I don't know. You know, it's an angel when Goku like lights up. You may be like, <sighs> so someone may be looking at you today, like taking it back at your glow, your beauty. Um, and it has to do with your confidence as well. And this is all coming from work that you do in yourself. That is why it is so powerful a glow. You know what I mean? It's work that you do on you, your discipline. Like I say, your practices of self-care, the things that you're doing to take care of you. And it's attracting not just romantic love and attention from others, but this is, it's allowing you to walk with a great force that is, I don't know what that does. Or what that means. But it has something to do with your victory. I don't know if you're ready to get married. But I feel like you could be. Like the person that it's looking at you. They could be looking at you thinking of marrying you. Like what would that look like. As you know to have you. To, to be with you. To wed you. It's the shift in mindset because. Sometimes we decide we're waiting until something else ends before we begin love. But love always is, you know. And it's just for you today, I just feel it's very important when it comes to self-care, thoughts. You're telling yourself the love you're giving yourself, giving yourself the things that you deserve. You know what I mean? And it's because you're clearing out a lot of past energy and just a lot. Like, and I, I love it. Some of you may need to do feng shui energy because I got that vibe in your money and career reading as well. Where you may need to clear out some things, like throw away some things that you've had for years. I don't want to tell you to do that, but it could just be energy, you know, energy in you. And I feel like it's just the last bit of it. No, it just needs, it's like... It, it, it can't be used for anything else right now. This There's no substance left in this energy. It's just become a burden that you need to free. And you know, when you find a way to cut the cords with it. I know I'm saying this and you're thinking, how can I practically free energies of the past? You know how you can move on from them. You can visualize the new. You can visualize what it is that you want to experience instead. So it's like gradually the past energy dissipates. It vanishes into the air like nothingness. As you claim more of, what the, of the life that you want to live. The love you want to experience. And as you claim that more, you know, you start to practice it more. Take the necessary actions. It starts to surround you more in your experience and thus becoming this new vibration of attraction. So the past is not. And the no is. And the no is what you make it. Ain't that beautiful? So 
that's what I have to say to you. Much love to you on your journey. Keep glowing up. Keep being beautiful. Um, breathe well. Eat well. Walk good. I love you. Thank you for being here. Okay, so if you enjoy the messages, give us a subscribe here to this channel and come back around. So I'll see you in the next reading. Much love to you. Until next time, take care. Bye. Remember that all is within you. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.